sometimes we need to have a stable internet connection for our organization and for that case we need two internet connection from two internet service provider it means if one goes fail another will up and working and today i will show you how to configure both link as a load balancer and cattle control firewall In this network infrastructure, we have carrier control firewall with three network adapter. First and second adapters are connected with internet connectivity, and the third adapter is connected with our LAN. Due to VMware adapter configuration, VMNet 0 is connected with first one, and VMNet 2 is connected with the second one and a vmnet 3 is connected with our LAN net this vmnet is working as a virtual switch in vmware infrastructure and we can connect multiple nodes into one vmnet and all connected nodes in one vmnet is acting they are in the same LAN or switch do we are configuring the caro control firewall load balancing for dual internet services in a VMware. So make sure your laptop have two adapters as my laptop have already two adapter. One is wireless and another is a wired or ethernet adapter. Secondly, let's configure the VMware network adapter settings. Open the VMware and go to the edit menu and click on a virtual network editor as you can see that right here we have three network vmnet 0 vmnet 2 and vmnet 3 and for bring changes click on change settings and click on yes now let's connect our vmnet 0 with the wireless network adapter select the vmnet 0 in the below section select the bridge and from the list select your wi-fi adapter now let's connect our vmnet 2 with our ethernet interface just select vmnet 2 and check the bridge option if it's not checked and from the list find out your ethernet interface and select it last but not least let's configure the vmnet 3 as a LAN or local area network for Cairo control. Select VMNet 3 and the below section check host only and thereafter click apply and OK. In the third stage, let's configure the Cairo control firewall adapter setting for both LAN and one interfaces. Click on Cairo control and click on edit virtual machine settings. For the Cairo control, currently we have one network adapter. Let's add another two network adapter for second one and LAN interfaces. Click on add and select network interfaces and click on finish. And let's add another network adapter. Click on add, select the network adapter and click on finish now let's connect the first adapter with win zero that is connected with our wireless interfaces select the first adapter in the right side click on custom and from the list select vmnet 0 and now let's connect the second adapter with the vmnet 2 that is connected with our ethernet interface select the vmnet 2 and from the custom section click on the list and select vmnet 2 last but not least let's connect our third adapter with the vmnet 3 that is connected with the LAN or private network. Select the third adapter and from the list select VMNet 3. And for implementing the configuration, click on OK. In the fourth stage, let's uh, configure the Windows virtual machine to connect with the Cairo control LAN interface. Click on Windows, then click on Edit virtual machine and click on Network adapter. Here, select the custom section and from the list, select VMNet 3 that is connected with our Cairo control LAN or private network and then click ok for completing the configuration so all the network adapter configuration has been completed for both caro control firewall and our virtual pc in the fifth stage let's turn on the caro control firewall and windows virtual machine and access the caro control web interface configuration page 
For accessing Cairo Control Web Interface Configuration page, make sure your computer are receiving the IP address. Click on Network icon and go to the Network and Internet setting. Then click on Ethernet, drag down the list. You can see this computer is receiving IP address from the Cairo Control Firewall. Now let's jump to the Cairo Control Firewall virtual machine. You can see this address. Exactly type this address in the browser. Then type admin username and password. Here we have successfully logged into the Cairo Control web interface configuration page. In the sixth stage, let's configure the interfaces in IP addressing for Cairo Control. Here you can see in the internet interfaces, we have one adapter. In the in trusted local interfaces, we have two adapters connected. For changing the name in IP address in the first adapter or one interface, just double click on that. Here you can see that we can identify interface group as well as we can change its name. Also right in the below section if we would like to change the ip address from automatic to manual we can select from the list manual because i am receiving automatic ip address from the isp i am selecting automatic ip address and after the complete configuration click on ok now let's change the second adapter here i can enter a name as well as from the interface group i should select the internet interface because i would like to this interface to be second one interface and from the below section i'm selecting automatic ip addresses and click on ok last but not least let's change the lan ethernet name just double click on it and enter lan click on ok for implementing all the configuration click on apply in the seventh stage we will do the load balancing configuration for two internet connections click right here and click on configuration wizard click in this link yes override it and from here select the second option two internet links with load balancing and click on next as you can see right here, we have configured two link, internet link one and internet link two. Click on next and here you can see the interface for local network. Also click on next and click on finish. When you go to the dashboard, you can see in the connectivity section, we have two one interfaces. In the second part, we have to configure the NAT policy to do the load balancing for both interfaces. Go to the traffic rule section. Here, the NAT policy already have been configured and just double click right here, NAT balancing per host. Here we have two options. The first is do the load balancing per host and the second option, we can do the load balancing per connection. So I'm selecting the second option for do the load balancing per connection click ok and click apply now we are in the final stage and let's check the connectivity do we have a load balancing per connection or not let's open some few websites go to the status section and click on active host and select this pc as well as click the connection tab in the below section here you can see that we have different connection for different one interfaces and now go to the dashboard you can see that we have usage on both one interfaces so we have successfully configured the load balancing for two internet connection and in the next video we will have bandwidth management and user management in Cairo control file thank you so much for being with me till now and if you found this video helpful don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button for supporting me to prepare more networking videos.